This is a message for Emma Stone. Emma, I just wanted to let you know that uh, I think you're all the way beautiful. Not just pretty, but, you know, smart and kind-hearted. And if I were a lot younger, I would marry you. And we would have chubby little freckle-faced kids. We'd laugh all day long, and go camping and play Yahtzee and tell ghost stories by the fire. And the sex... And every day for the rest of your life, you would thank God that I was the appropriate age for you. God, I'm not. I'm 49. I have lines on my face, sometimes a little gray in my beard, and it takes me a lot longer to pee than it used to. These are the only discernible signs of aging that I can find so far. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know how I felt. I think you're pretty special. And I wish you continued success and artistic fulfillment. But most of all, I wish you love and contentment. That's all. started painting a lot I had become so obsessed that there was nowhere to move in my home paintings were everywhere they were becoming a part of the furniture I was eating on them I found myself looking around at one point in a really bleak winter in New York and it was just so depressing and I think I needed color it's getting kind of pedestrian to me now the teal you know what I'd like to do is just start threading in some purple, you know, into these things. Uh, I'll find the ultimate color and I'll be able to reproduce it. You can tell what I love by the color of the paintings. You can tell my inner life by the darkness in some of them. And you can tell what I want from the brightness in some of them. When I was a kid, I spent half my time in the living room performing for people. I spent the other half the time in my bedroom by myself, writing poetry and sketching. I was not the type of kid you could say, as a punishment, go to your room, because my room was heaven to me. My isolation was welcome. People that are different have a shot at being original. You know, they got motivation too. You know, they got motivation. I sketched all the time, but I didn't do a lot of painting. Suddenly, six years ago, at a time when I was trying to heal a broken heart, I decided, well, maybe I'll paint. When your heart is in love, you're floating weightless. But when you lose that love, you have to re-enter the atmosphere. And it can get pretty rough. And then you start to float again. The energy that surrounds Jesus is electric. I don't know if Jesus is real. I don't know if he lived. I don't know what he means. But the paintings of Jesus are really my desire to convey Christ consciousness. I wanted you to have the feeling when you looked in his eyes that he was accepting of who you are. I wanted him to be able to stare at you and heal you from the painting. You can find every race in the face of Jesus. And I think that's how every race imagines Jesus. They imagine him as their own. That's pretty. Funny, I get so stuck when I'm trying to choose colors, but I want to just grab them. It's cool. I don't know what painting teaches me. I, I know that it just frees me.
free from the future, free from the past, free from regret, free from worry. Something inside you is always telling a story. I believe every single thing that you see and hear is taught.